the excursion. Here's some of the team doing the digital photography. I'm chasing after them, kind of get some footage. How many stairs are there? How's the, how's, the, how's the hunting coming along? Good. What pictures have you gotten so far? You guys got, do you need any help with the cameras? You got the zoom? You figured it out? Zoom in and out? Okay, good deal. It's flash? Yeah. Then what about panoramic? Does it do panoramic? Yeah. It does? Let me see. Up top here. Nope. Got a live. They got video. Okay, you guys have got it. That's go, Go, girl. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, very nice lines. Very nice. Zoom in on your shoe like that with the cracks of it. Oh, this one. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm going to let y'all go. Do y'all think? Check the fountain. Go. Oh, you already been to the fountain? Okay. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Yep. I'm going to leave them be, guys. They're doing their thing. Um, like I said, we're at Orange Georgetown Technical College for our summer STEM program with our teen advisory board. T. Mars McCullum made this all happen for us. So we want to give a special shout out from MCC Lit to T. Mars, uh, our assistant coach Malik Williams. That's his Kappa brother. So to all Kappa Phi fraternity, thank you so much. Deltas, thank you so much. AKAs, thank you so much for everything you've always done for us. We are heavily rooted with Greek life, as you can see, because we model ourselves behind Greek life as well. So they have provided some great opportunities. Tamaris McCullum works here for Orange Georgetown Technical College um, and provided this STEM, summer STEM program, three summer STEM programs with uh, some professors. So today is the first day. It goes from about seven, eight o'clock in the morning to 11.30 a.m. And we are at building 1000 in the Conway campus. Uh, first professor is teaching digital photography. That is Professor Perizzoni. And then we also have um, second professor teaching computer coding. That is Professor Jason Carmen, Car Carmen, Jason Carmen. So kids are running around with the digital photography. They have about an hour to get a bunch of shots that's on the list. Um, and then they're going to go back to the classroom with Professor Perizzoni and print out all of those pictures that they've taken on a four by six um, picture frame. At that point, they're going to get the best shots and build them their uh, digital photography first por portfolio. Uh, Professor Carmen is upstairs working with the teens on the computer coding with teaching them the Raspberry Pi uh, applications and coding for the Raspberry Pi um, equipment. And so far they've learned how to code to make it become a security camera, code to change filters, add filters, um, coding to do video, um, take pictures, and coding uh, lines to be able to put whatever pictures that they have on multiple, multiple TV screens. Uh, so these kids are learning first class foundation 101 technology um, in digital photography and in computer coding. A lot of the uh, equipment that they use and a lot of the programs that they use on their cell phones, um, they're learning the behind the scenes on how those filters work and what those companies use. And some of them still to this day go back to using the Raspberry Pi due to the fact that a lot of the security camera systems cost a lot of money. So to save money, you can buy that piece of equipment, go online at Amazon at $80, and you can do all that. Um, and then plus much more. Uh, so they're learning basics on that. Digital photography, they have a digital uh, uh, camera, and they are learning how to add points of perspective 
um, to get great shots to where you can bring yourself and your viewer have them teach them have a feeling behind their their um, pictures and also to make their viewer become right there in the photo so it's about experience a feeling um, giving a different bird's eye view lowering your body coming bringing your lines down zooming in getting the color impact um, it's so much they're learning the basics of that um, to kind of fine-tune their pictures now to make better pictures as they go along so we are blessed to have this uh, training and this courses that we're taking and uh, they've been also displayed with literature to take home so that they can continue on with that and then we will definitely come back here <clears throat> in a couple of weeks for our next STEM program classes which will be YouTube and so social media I think we might have a drone section I'm not sure but definitely YouTube and social media will be the next class and then in July <clears throat> the kids who have signed up for the um, culinary arts that will be in July on July I think the 20 something so uh, they will be working with professors professors over the culinary arts school on the Grand Strand campus and learning hands-on from those professors in July so um, definitely this program that that uh, we have here is um, to provide quality experiences and opportunities um, to fortitude these youth to get on to the next level get them hands-on experience um, and let them kind of surface through and at the high school letter level and the middle school level kind of really see what they want to do and to explore many other opportunities and many different things that they might not have they might not have done just because they didn't find interest but now getting their, their feet wet and getting them exposed to that and seeing what it's really about and not having them make a judgment on something that they have no, nothing about making a judgment and assumption on something after they've experienced it so uh, yeah this is what MCC lit is about those of you who have tuned into my live videos uh, we're always going to do that so we can spread the word uh, for other parents to realize uh, to let them know that uh, what we are offering here and we would love to work with your children again this program is not for everyone um, only for the ones who want it and want to work for it um, we are definitely picking and choosing and screening the teens that we have coming into the program so that way we have an opportunity to really immerse the teens in and really helping them um, any teens that are still on the level of wanting to play around wanting to get in trouble not want to take anything too serious well we could work with you but you're gonna to have to really show forth the effort that you're really trying to change and really trying to make something with your life and then we are the program for you so with that being said good morning everyone that is tuned in thank you and uh, we're signing off you've been lit <laughs>